aka double o styles and welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning in today we're definitely going to be talking about um quarantine time and being furloughed and yeah yes furloughed because a lot of us been furloughed and i have been a part of the group that been furloughed but thankfully i got to last like a like a month i think within it and then i got furloughed with like a second group of people but i was very thankful like everybody's like oh i'm sorry you got furloughed but boo boo what are you sorry for because this is a blessing in disguise i know all this bad stuff is going on with people dying or whatever yes that's very sad but um y'all let's stop sticking to the sadness like let's start really doing the stuff that we want to do look for the future be focused on what you could do now make whoever that person is make that person proud make yourself proud this is your moment if you didn't have nothing to do before if you wanted to start a business and you finally got the time to we in the house boo boo what else is there for you to do but start on your business that's what I want to talk about because I hear so much moping. I hear like, oh, I'm ready for outside to be available. I do a little bit. I want to get my nails done. Yes, I do. I want to get my 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 waxes. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm tired of doing this stuff myself. But at the end of the day, I have more time to focus on my business, boo boo. I am a blogger. I am a style influencer. I'm trying to do better with this YouTube. As you can see, I am on it, boo boo. And I hope it's not unstoppable because I am unstoppable. But before, I was always like at work or too tired to do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you get home from work, you just be wanting to chill sometimes. And I feel like I do so much already. So it was kind of hard at that moment to like really push through. But with this time and this break or whatever, I am, you know, doing way better than before. I'm sleeping in when I want to. Listen, I'm a night. I do not like getting up early so the fact that I can stay up all night like y'all I have not been really going to bed until like 3 between 3 and 6 o'clock in the morning I am a night owl I prefer to wake up late and get to work later you know what I'm saying because it's just like I just I don't know I'm more focused more at night like everybody's different like they always say the um, early bird gets the worm but let's say the late bird already got the worm because you was asleep boo boo you were asleep when you were when you by the time I went to bed I already grabbed that worm okay I already grabbed it because you were asleep you just not getting up I was still up all night baby so do it how you want to do it but at the same time like let's get to work i want to talk about what i did after i got furloughed after i got that call i was lit boo boo i said what i need to do to get this check though because this is the perfect time like what are you soaping about it's like half of the world is going through this everybody has been on a pause like furlough does not mean you're fired that just mean you're on a little pause until everything get back to normal <sighs> so First thing I did, I said, oh, when do I fill out these unemployment papers, baby? Because I need this check at the end of the day. I know I'm going to still be, you know, doing my own little thing. I know it's not going to be the full amount of the check, but boo-boo is something. I get to pay my bills. And, like, if you are in need, you can actually call the, the bill people and ask them, like, what can they do? Because everybody's situation, their understanding of all of this. Listen, no more stressing because at the end of the day, we got God. God got us. God going putting through, putting this through us for a reason. If you have not noticed already, like, going outside, it's a total, complete feeling. Like, everybody feels more free. There's less traffic, less people getting on my nerves while they driving so slow in the fast lane. Get out the way. <laughs> less stress, okay? Less gas. I got to spend boo-boo. I don't, I don't know when the last time I got gas, but it's definitely spaced out. I am saving much more money. God is doing his thing. Y'all need to pay attention because it could be way worse. Y'all could be on the side of the road or y'all could be suffering way worse than y'all suffering, but y'all over here complaining that y'all in the house. Listen, you in the house, right? You you got a roof over your head? You got food? Huh? You got you living the next day? What is it? Okay, because y'all complaining too much. Be quiet. No more. I don't want to hear it. So I want to talk about my improvement since I've been furloughed, okay? Ow. Listen, I go to bed late. I've been feeling good. I've been waking up. I'm more motivated in life, okay? When I said that, I said it with a strong voice. I feel motivated in life, okay? okay? I needed this break. I needed to focus on me. I needed to rest me. God wanted me to rest, you know? That's how you need to look at it. He wanted me to rest. He want, he want one less thing I got to worry about, you know? Like... I don't gotta wake up early and be on nobody clock for a long time, which 
I'm sure I'll be back to it when everything is back where it's supposed to be or whatever with this economy. I don't know. But at the same time, like this moment, I'm taking full advantage of it. Listen, this 2020 is still my year, boo-boo. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all don't care if y'all say y'all want to go back to 2019. No, I'm good with 2020, boo. I'm good with how it is right now. <laughs> my improvements. Boom. I started meditating. I hear all the time that people, like the successful people, they meditate. I'm like, as easy as it sounds, it's really hard because you got to stay like really focused. Like you got to get like really in a calm state and like relax your muscles completely and try to zone out and remove anything from your brain and think like, just empty all that chaos that's in your brain, which is hard because I'm always distracted like, I don't know it's hard so yeah that's what I've been trying to do I also been going on YouTube and going to like a couple videos that say like five minute meditation I start off with five minute meditations and I'm doing okay so far I mean I could be doing better I missed a few days but <laughs> progression boo boo that's all it is I have been reading let me show y'all the books I've been reading I have always been a reader but um, I haven't been reading as much as I should but since this situation happened I have had more time to read so after I meditate um, I read these two books you're a badass stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life okay I know y'all seen this book so many times I love this book because it's like an alert like hello you are you are a badass that's what she said you are a badass and be reading the book it lets you know clearly identifies the stuff that you need to be like thinking about as far as yourself open your eyes and realizing how great you are and loving yourself you know five habits of a woman who doesn't quit this is the book okay I've been reading this book I got this book from the Bible store and then I saw this book like I'm not the type of woman who always quits but then like I opened the book and like the way she talks her name is Nikki and I think she's from Charlotte Ew! yes hey hey Nikki she from Charlotte so yeah um she just really talked she's really a woman she was a woman that was always quitting and I opened a book and like the way she talked I felt like she was like my homegirl like it was just like she was giving good little um lessons about this lady named Ruth in the bible and like sticking to your destination in life let me read something from here that I really like so she had these little notes right here this little box she said don't let your feelings dictate dictate your days choose to follow through despite how you feel like stuff like that motivating stuff that pushed me like you know what i'm saying like she gives an example of stuff that that's in the bible with roof and then she talks about like her life being a well used to being a quitter it says with god i can follow through with the commitments i've made despite how i feel quitting when we are angry or upset almost always leads to regret so it has little key little good little components in it which is why i really like it another book i just got this book uh i just ordered it it's called the 10 times rule i don't know if y'all been seeing that on y'all story y'all timeline on instagram but it's been all over my my um timeline like non-stop and so i was like let me see it. it's really like seems like a good book i really love motivating books so the only difference between success and failure is what this book is about and it's a lot of little good referrals on it from people saying how good of a book it is so i'm gonna give it a chance because i really like books that really motivate me and really like help me think outside the box and really push me to become the woman that i'm supposed to be which i know i will happen will, will happen but it will take time because i'm just a progression we're all progressing in life we're trying to learn we're trying to you know become beautiful butterflies we're, we're caterpillars now we're turning into butterflies you know what i'm saying i have also had time to work on my boutique if you have not seen my boutique already um i'll have the link below and um yeah i'm more focused on trying to like understand my customers so i feel like as a person that's into business an entrepreneur at heart they're always going to be like into trying to you know push their business regardless like just because you got furloughed from your job that does not stop no show which is why i was thankful they knew i was good was able to survive like okay yeah I'm trying to get out of the 9 to 5 because I am only built for the 9 to 5 temporarily. God knows that I am bigger than that. So yeah, I'm trying to work towards my goals. I'm trying to work on improvements. I'm trying to push my friends and I'm trying to push everybody around me to be the best that you can because there's so much potential and gifts that God has given us, but we are sleeping on those gifts. It's time to wake up. Wake up and, and turn up on them, on them um, gifts that God gave you. Turn them into your future. Turn them into something great. Stop playing around with your gifts. That's what all I'm saying. Stop playing around. 
So yeah, we gonna get right into it, boo boo. We gonna start this. If you have not started yet, okay, it's time to start now. Start researching something. Start like Googling stuff. Like, of course, yes, relax your mind. Yes, God wants us all to relax and all that. Yes. But while you're like, you know, doing exactly nothing when you could be doing a little bit of something, you could be Googling up something when it comes to your business. You could be watching something on YouTube and learning how to do that. You know, just, just, just upgrade yourself. This is right now is the perfect time to upgrade yourself. Upgrade yourself, boo-boo. So yeah, I'm done talking. I'm done rambling my mouth. I just wanted to talk about, you know, just becoming the greater self. Like, I just want everybody to start it now. Like, just know that the time is now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your um, quarantine time. I want all my bosses to glow. I want all my beautiful people to glow out here. No matter what's going on in this world, let the world rest. Let the world rest. You don't gotta be out here in these streets all the time. You could be learning something to boost yourself up, but guess what, when outside is available, you better come out like a big boss on them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Big boss on them. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gone. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know I'm talking. I'm done rambling my mouth. Make sure if you have not already, make sure you press the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments as well what you want to see next. What you want to talk about next? Boo, we can talk all day, honey. You better let me know now. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, all right, y'all. I'm done. I'll see y'all guys later.